Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. In this video, we'll cover two different ways to create an invisible progress tracker that appears when our reader scrolls through a post, enhancing the user experience and making our posts more engaging. And we'll add it to our single post template in Elementor so that it appears on every blog post. This tips and tricks video is a bonus lesson in our How to Build a Blog in Elementor course. We encourage you to check it out if you haven't already, but you can still follow along even if you haven't yet watched the course. The tutorial does require basic familiarity with the progress tracker widget and single post template feature. So if you're not yet familiar with these, we recommend you first watch our dedicated tutorials. See the links to the course and tutorials in the description. Okay, let's get started. Back on Xander's blog, we'll work in the single post template or feel free to use your own single post template if you prefer. Let's start off by designing a minimalistic progress tracker for our post. First, add a new section with a single column above the post section. Set the section's content width to full and columns gap to no gap. Next, drag in the progress tracker widget from the widgets menu. Ultimately, we'll set the progress tracker to be relative to the post content, but to best preview our changes to the progress tracker widget, we'll set that after styling it. Head over to the Style tab. Now, we'll adjust the design a bit to match this widget to Xander's blog style. Set the progress color using a global color and do the same for the background color of the tracker. Perfect. This widget is a bit too large to fit Xander's minimalistic style though. Let's adjust its height and set it to 10 pixels. Much better. Now, this tracker is pretty sleek, but we can give it even more personality by using motion effects to make it stick to the top. In the Advanced tab, expand the Motion Effects options and set the widget to be sticky to the top. Now that the progress tracker is all set, let's go back to the content tab and set the progress relative to the post's content. Then we'll update and hide the editor to see it in action. The progress tracker starts out invisible, but once we scroll down in the article, it stays at the top and tracks our reading progress. Not too shabby if I do say so myself, but let's kick it up another notch. For our second example, we'll add another section above the progress tracker. But instead of starting from scratch, we'll click the folder icon to import a header template from the My Templates tab. Feel free to use your own header or check out how to create this one in Lesson 5 of our blog course. Great. Adjust the height a little bit and add another column in the middle. Set the widget space to zero and resize the column's width on the left and right columns. Now copy the progress tracker we already created and paste it into the column we just added. Let's make some adjustments to its style, like background color and height. Next, we'll add the post title to appear within the progress tracker. To achieve this, first we'll drag in the post title widget. Then, change its HTML tag so it doesn't appear as a heading. Then in style, update the typography. Next, go to Advanced and add some margin. Use a negative margin on the bottom to move the widget down into the progress tracker. If your widget is hidden by other widgets, change its Z index to stack it above. Great, now let's make some adjustments to the entire section to make sure it only appears when we need it. Click the section and head over to Motion Effects under Advanced. Then, set it to be sticky to the top of the page, but only on desktop. We can set this by clicking the X icon next to tablet and mobile. Add some cool entrance effects by activating scrolling effects. We'll use a simple transparency effect and again apply it only to desktop. 
Since this effect only applies on desktop, we'll go to Responsive to hide the whole section on tablet and on mobile. Now every time we scroll down, the section will fade and stay at the top of the page. Speaking of transparency, this section's background is transparent, which makes the logo and hamburger menu difficult to see. So let's give it a solid background. All we have left to do is set the second progress tracker to appear only on tablet and mobile. Click the progress tracker section and head over to the advanced tab. Under motion effects, make sure it's sticky to top, both for tablet and mobile devices. And last but not least, under responsive, hide it from desktop. And with that, our new progress tracker is complete. Let's see it in action. Looks good on desktop, good on tablet, and of course, it looks good on mobile. And there you have it. Use a minimalistic progress tracker by adding a new section and making it sticky to the top of the page. Or spice things up by using an existing header template and combining it together with the progress tracker. Now you can create more engaging post designs using the progress tracker. How will you use these tips on your blog? Let us know in the comments below. For more Elementor tips and tricks, check out our channel or visit the Elementor Academy. See you next time and thanks for watching.